what's up guys we're gonna build beats today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to use a fruity limiter so this is gonna be a shorter video today if you guys haven't subbed already or turn puzzle on just do so because it does help it a lot let's hop right into it so i'm gonna play the beat and this is a beat we made a long time ago um together so i'm gonna just play it all right so um i'm gonna show you why the fruity limiter is op all right now let's take this away so i'm gonna show you the comparison between the compressor and all of these so i'm gonna turn the compressor off and on all right now the reason i don't you recommend using this is because there's really no real way to tweak it to the point where it'll sound really really crispy right um so you could try to tweak Right? it just doesn't sound good all right um so moving on to the soft clipper right so these if i just reset it make sure everything is reset um this is just a default setting and everybody knows this sounds really good so i'll just play it all right super super clean okay so now the limiter now i'm, I'm gonna show you why everybody hates this Okay, and you'll instantly hear it when I turn it on. Right, it sounds like I just put a filter over the entire master. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways to get rid of that. So the first way is the lazy way. This is pretty much to mimic the soft clipper, okay? Um, so let's turn this on. And what you wanna, now I'm gonna play it so we can see like the transients. Okay, so you can see these little purple lines. That is like your kick hitting, right? And any sound that's hidden with it. Um, so you can see that this line is crushing it down. So if you wanna kind of mimic the soft clipper, what you could do is take the ceiling and you could pull it all the way up and I'll still kind of pull it down so it overlaps a little bit. Um, but if you want that, that clear sound, you can pull it all the way up, but I'm gonna just put it right here. All right, and then um, that's not all we're gonna do, but I'll play it. Right, and it sounds pretty much like the soft clipper, right? And if you wanna mimic this threshold, all you need to do is mess with the saturation. And I'll play it and just kinda of tweak with it. Right, and it sounds just as good as the soft clipper. And this is the lazy way. You're not supposed to do it this way, but this is just a way I found that works as well if you just don't feel like tweaking knobs. All right, so let's set all these to zero. Now, this is why the, the limiter sounds terrible. It's because of these envelopes. All right, so if we look, this white line is actually the limiter itself. Uh, so if you look, and I'll actually, let's pull all these, the release and the sustain all the way up so you can see the limiter move. All right, so this white line is the limiter and you can see it's really crushing everything down and it's making it sound like there's a filter. So to get rid of this, what we need to do is turn these curves to one, turn this release to, to zero and sustain. You can kind of leave it sustain. It just depends on what you like, but we can turn it to zero for now and this attack to zero. Okay, and let's play it. Right, and it's definitely a lot more clear now. I and mean, you can mess with these settings if you wanna like control it a little bit. You can even see a little dip here. I'm gonna turn these off. Okay, now you can mess with the ceiling. So if you want that like, what is it? A uh, negative 0 0.3 dB, you can kinda mess with that. Um, you can mess with saturation. All right, so that is why it sounds terrible. Okay, now you could tweak everything. You can even put a compressor in here. Now you gotta be careful because this compressor could easily make it sound terrible. As you can see, okay, so you gotta be careful. I just stick with the limiter part. Now I'm gonna just use the like lazy setting because I just like, it's just easy. All right, so I'm gonna just reset all this. Actually, we can even just turn these down and then we could just use this ceiling. I 
think that's a good setting so that's pretty much all i want to show y'all because i know a lot of people say oh the limiter's so garbage it's trash when it's not it's just people don't know what they they don't know what they're doing all right they don't know how to use these envelopes and stuff um and maybe just because they didn't really go in and try it but that is how you use the limiter um if you're tired of using soft clipper or don't like the sound this is another alternative because i know a lot of people just have the regular version of fl so i just want to give y'all some different you know ways to kind of i guess master your beats all right so that's it for this video hopefully you liked make sure y'all like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace